Hi everyone, welcome back. In this particular video, we're gonna take a closer look at how we can create a group that requires students to join with a specific student username that has been created for each student by the teacher. So I've gone ahead and logged into my Flipgrid account and I'm in the discussion tab of my educator admin and I'm in the group tab and to get started, I'm simply going to click create a group. Now, the first thing I want to do is make sure that this group is set to private because I want it to be a private group for my students and I to participate in. I'm going to give my group a specific name. And then underneath, notice that I can customize my join code. Now, when looking at the join code, you want to make sure that it is simple accessible for all students and memorable because remember that you're going to be giving the join code to students who are going to be joining the group on the Flipgrid mobile app on an Android or iOS device. Below the join code, we're going to go to add students and this time we're going to select student username and click next. In the next screen for add your students, this is where I can start adding my students one by one, entering their first name, a last initial, and creating a unique username for the student. Now, if I don't want to add my students one at a time, oh, let's add this student to the list. As I was saying, if I don't want to add my students one at a time, I can always download the provided template which is an Excel CSV file. And I simply enter in my student's information, their first name, last initial, and create a unique username for each student. I save that file, and then I can go ahead and click to upload that CSV file. And all of those students and their usernames will be populated here. Now notice below that we see that guest password again. Please be mindful that in ECSD, we do not invite parents or guests to join a group when we have multiple students working inside that group. So we're gonna leave this turned off. For more information about providing guest access and when it's appropriate, please check out the guest access section on the MTech Flipgrid Resource Center website. I'm going to go ahead once I've entered all of my students and click next. Notice that I have that ability like I did in the previous group to duplicate topics. Now this allows me to reuse or repost topics that have been created for other groups. Any topics that you duplicate will only come with the topic settings and topic resources or materials. Videos that have been recorded inside the topic in another group will not be duplicated. I'm going to skip this step for now. And at this point in time, I can decide whether I want to share this group, but I don't have any topics created. So in this case, we're going to cancel. And I'm going to take you back to the discussion tab because I want to show you one more feature about creating groups using student usernames. I'm going to click on the pencil to edit the group. And I just wanted to scroll down and show you under access control, where I see my list of students, I see this link to print. If I click it, notice that Flipgrid has generated a QR code that my student can use in order to log in or access the group instead of having to type in his or her username. 